Hi everyone! Today we are doing a video on how to make a coffee cup keychain and we're going to start that in just a moment. Monique here with Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making a coffee cup keychain. So I am using a 4.5 millimeter hook. You're going to need a tapestry needle, you're going to need some scissors, and you're going to need some fiber fill. So let's get started. First, I put my yarn on my hook and I cross my yarn. Then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to go back into that very first chain and I'm going to do six single crochets and I'm catching my tail as I go. So three, four, five, six. Okay, now I'm going to go into that very first chain, chain up one, pull my yarn tight, pull my yarn tight th from the tail by the way. Now I'm going to do two single crochets in every stitch around, okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then I'm going to join to that first stitch. I'm going to chain up once. Now I'm going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, one, two, and then I'm going to do one in the next one. So we're working in threes, okay? So that was, that was three, this will be four and five go in the next stitch, six goes in its own stitch. And then seven, eight go into the next stitch, nine goes into the stitch by itself. Ten, eleven into one stitch, twelve goes in by itself. Thirteen, fourteen goes into one stitch, fifteen goes into itself. Sixteen, seventeen, and then 18 goes into itself. And then we're just going to slip stitch and join. We're going to make a little bit of a loop. We're going to cut and pull tight. There we go. That is the top of our coffee cup keychain. Now we're going to make the cup part. So Remember, we had 18 stitches around. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go with my green, because I'm making a green coffee cup. I'm going to catch my tail. I'm going to do six stitches in that first. Two, three, four, five, six. Then I'm going to go into that first stitch and do a slip stitch to connect them and chain up one. Okay, next I am going to do two single crochets in each stitch around till I get to 12. So three, four, Five, 
10, 11, 12. Okay, then we're going to slip stitch that into the very first um, stitch in our round. We're going to chain up one. So just like the, the, the coffee part, which is my brown, I'm going to do it in threes. So two in one stitch, one in the next. Two in one stitch, one in the next. So we're going to go one, two in that first stitch. And then three goes in its own stitch. Four and five go in a stitch. Six goes in its own stitch. Seven, eight go into their own stitch. Nine is by himself. Ten and eleven in one stitch. Twelve by itself. Thirteen. 14 in one stitch, 15 by itself, 16, 17 in one stitch, 18 by itself. Now, this is where we're getting different. Instead of, oh no, we're going to do a slip stitch here. We're going to do a slip stitch. We're going to chain up one. Now, we're only going into the back stitches, okay? And we're just putting one single stitch all the way around. So one in each, but we're just going into the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Now Here's where we're going to be different. Instead of slip stitching into that next, that very first stitch, we're just going to do a single crochet and now we're just going to go around in circles, circles, circles. We're not going to slip stitch into anything. And we're going to crochet this up with single crochets until it measures about two inches. Now you see on the bottom, we have a bit of a ridge. So that's the ridge of our coffee cup. Okay, and we're going to do this about two inches tall, and then we'll come back. Okay, so we're back, and we have gone up two inches. See, two inches. So now what I'm going to do is I'm leaving this working yarn on, okay? We need to do a face. And we need to fill and different things like that. And I do this all in one foul swoop. So, first of all, if you are like me and use dryer sheets, I, whenever I make one of these little anything that I stuff, I stick a dry, one of the used dryer sheets in it, and it just makes it smell so good all the time. So that's something you can do for recycling your dryer sheets, okay? So I'm just going to stick that in the bottom after, not right now. Okay, so first we need to do a face. So we are going to grab some scrap black yarn. And as soon as I find the end of it, oh I know, it's what we call yarn vomit. But, woohoo, I found the end. Okay, so we're going to take some of our black yarn. We are going to put it on our needle. Now, I am going to make a smile. So I'm going to go inside. So I'm going inside and I'm going to go 
So about the middle. Okay. Now I'm going to catch my yarn. I don't want to pull it all the way through. Okay. I am going to go over to here. So we're going diagonally to here. And I'm going to come up through here. So see, we're going diagonally. And then I'm going to go up to here. And I'm going to come back out where this one was. Okay. And come back out here. And go back out where I came this way. See what I'm doing here? So there, you see how I got back to where I started? And now I'm going to go diagonal here. Here. To here. And then I'm going back to the center. So. This is what I ended up with for a smile. Okay. So, I started here. I went to here. I went underneath, came out here, went over to here. Went underneath, came back out here, made this stitch. Went underneath, came out here, went that way, came underneath, went over here, into here. Okay. So, there's my smile. Now, I am going to go inside and I'm going to tie that off. And don't tie too, too tight because you don't want to distort your smile. Okay, and then I'm going to, where are my scissors? I'm going to take that and cut. Okay. So, smile for coffee cup is done. Now, I'm going to do what's called French knots. I'm going to go, I think I'm going to go here. Okay, now this is tricky. Again, I'm not pulling too far. I'm leaving a tail. Now, you take your needle. hope you can see that. I am wrapping my needle four times. And then I'm going back not into the exact same hole, but just over a little bit. And I'm pulling the yarn taunt. Okay, and I'm pulling all of this yarn through. Okay, and this is called a French knot. See, this is what we get. So now I'm going to go over to the other side. So that's that one. I'm going to go over to here. And I'm going to do the same thing. Coming out, I'm going to go wrap around once. So watch this. Wrapping around my needle once and twice. Three times, fourth time. I'm going to go just a little bit off of where I came out. I'm going to hold my yarn taunt. Okay. And then I'm going to pull all this yarn through. And there we go. There's another little eyeball. So now we've got our face. Okay. And, oh, I didn't. I did. Darn it. I sewed through my tail. Well, it happens. So, I'm going to take my tail and again, we're going to tie a knot. Not too tight of a knot, we don't want to distort our eyes. So there we go. That's our little face. We're going to cut this. Okay, there's that part done. So, we're done with making the face. We've made the face. Now, we're going to take our little dryer sheet, we're going to put it inside 
Now, if you wanted to use safety eyes, you could totally use safety eyes. I'm choosing not to because, um, I don't know, I just chose not to. Now, I'm going to take some fiber fill. And I'm going to stick some fiber fill in here, okay? I don't want too much because I still want the bottom to sit flat. But I do want it full enough that it's solid and not going to cave in, right? So, maybe just a bit more. See how I'm squishing it to my table? Okay. There we go. Now, next step is I'm taking my lid and I am hiding the center thread after I pulled it really tight. So this is the one coming out of the center, okay? I'm going to hide that thread and cut it off. Ooh, don't do that. Cut it off. It's gone. Then I'm going to take this thread this is the edge one. I'm going to sew it in through here. There we go. And it's gone. Okay. Snip. And gone. Now, I am going to take, we're going to move our little coffee cup to the side. Don't go far, buddy. We like seeing you. You look so cute. Okay, I'm going to take my yarn. I'm going to go in. So see here, that's my very, very center. I'm going to go into the side. And I'm going to pull my yarn through. And I'm just going to quickly chain up, uh, I don't know, one there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that big enough? Put on a keychain. I think that's plenty big. And then I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to do a slip stitch into that side. Huh. Okay. Now, I'm going to cut this, I'm going to pull it through my loop to make a knot, okay, and now I'm going to use my needle, pull those two through to the bad side, okay. That's the loop that we're going to attach our keychain to, our keychain ring. I've got these on the other side. I have this one still on the needle. I'm going to work it to the other one. We are going to tie a knot. Okay. We are going to snip. And that is the top of our coffee. Okay, but we're not done. We need to now crochet on the lid. So I'm going back to my working yarn. Okay, get in here. And this is what I do because I don't like doing a lot of sewing. What we're going to do now, okay, so we want that to kind of line up so that when we put the chain on, our face will be showing. So, okay, we are going to go in for our next single crochet, but we are gonna catch the lid, okay? So see how I'm through both? We are gonna catch our yarn, pull it through, do a single crochet. Go into the next one, go through both, single crochet. And we're going to do this all the way around. 
and this is going to attach our coffee cup and coffee together. Okay, so we're just doing this all the way around. So I'm going in the green, going into the brown. Can you see that? I'm catching my yarn, I'm pulling through, and I'm going through the two stitches or three loops, two loops <laughs> to make my single crochet, okay? And we're just doing that all the way around because both of these have 18 stitches on them. Okay, can you see that? I hope you can see that. There we go. And here we go. Oops. Now, let's see. Oh, I'm almost at the end. go and one there and one this is where the knot was so it's a little bit more of a challenge and then one there and then we're just gonna go back into the very first one we did now we are going to slip stitch into the final stitch. Okay. So there we go, we're pulling that tight. There's our coffee. Okay. Now we're gonna hide the green thread. And we're just gonna hide it. We're gonna go through a few stitches. Dear Lord, I went through the wrong stitches. There we go. We're gonna go through a few stitches and then we're just gonna go through the work. So we're nice and long. We have a nice long thing. We're gonna cut it Right flush with the, okay, so there we go. So what is our coffee cup missing? That's what we got so far. Our coffee cup is missing its handle, yeah. So we are going to take our green yarn, okay. We are going to chain 10, 1, no, 11, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We are going to skip that first and we're going to go into the next chain and we are going to single crochet. So we should have 10 single crochets, okay? Here we go. See that? 10 single crochets. There we go. I know, it takes a while. Foundation chain is always the hardest. Catch your tail when you're doing that final stitch. Now we're going to cut our yarn and we're going to pull that tight. We're going to pull our tail tight. And now, so coffee cup like that. Yeah, I think that's cute. So we're going to take the longer one and we are going to feed it kind of along the bottom. See how I'm feeding it kind of along the bottom? 
to get it to the other side. Okay. And in essence, what we're doing is we're kind of pleating it so that when we sew on the handle, it'll have its natural curve, okay? So, we're going to just simply sew it on. So, I'm just going to use a whip stitch. Ouch, and not stab myself. And you want to go very close to the bottom of the cup. Okay, so what you do to one side, you have to do the other. So I sewed it on from the front. Now we're going to sew it on from the back so it actually kind of stands up. So see, sewing it into the handle. Okay, now we're going to do there. Okay, we're going to do a quick knot. So we're going through the stitches, and you see our loop we made there? There. there this will make it easier to see. Okay, so you see this loop we made here? We are going to go through that loop not once, but twice, same direction, and we're going to pull it tight. Aww. And don't do like me and pull your needle right off, because then you have to re-thread it. Now, you never cut where you put a knot, okay? So we got my knot. We are going to go in the stitches, weave through a bit, and we're going to end up way up here, okay? We're going to snip that. Now we're going to go to the other side. We're going to attach it at the top. Try and follow your stitches. And again, we're going to go right close to the top. Why? Why do you have to do this? Don't do that. So if you snag the fiber fill, just push it back in. Don't be like me. So we're going to go through the coffee cup and then through the handle and then through the coffee cup and through the handle. And whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. So now we'll do that from the back so it keeps standing up. So through the coffee cup cup, through the handle, and then up at the top we're going to do our knot. Okay, and just like last time we're going to go through the loop not once but twice. We're going to pull it tight and then you never cut where you put your knot. You're going to weave it through. Weave it through. Okay, and we're going to snip that, now we've got a coffee cup, we've got a handle, and we've got our loop for our keychain, and all we have to do is put on our keychain, so hang on, I'll go okay. grab Okay, so now... I put on my keychain loop. And there we go. We've got a coffee cup keychain. There you go. So, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and I'm going to try and do videos at least once a week. Thanks for watching. And if you want to have notifications of when I do my videos, hit the little bell. See you later. Bye now.